Ours is a society that reveres winners. We love winning. And while our quest to achieve is laudable, too often we overlook those who compete nobly, yet fail to win the ultimate prize. Sadly, we label them as losers. To me, the way an individual conducts himself in defeat often reveals more about character than it might in victory. When that individual stands up, owns his performance by acknowledging responsibility and accountability, we respect that person. Essential to a leader's development is managing adversity. It's one thing to lead when everything's going your way. It's quite another thing to lead when the odds are against you. Leaders who have weathered adversity are often better prepared to make tough choices, required to move forward because they know what it takes and are prepared for the next challenge. There's no shame in falling short. What matters more is how you handle defeat and what you do next. Most every senior leader with whom I've worked has had his or her share of adversity, professional or personal. Some handled it better than others, but all of them, some way, somehow, found a way to persevere. Often they found support from a boss or a spouse, someone who believed in them. Ultimately, they drew strength from themselves and found a way forward. All the adversity I've had in my life, all my troubles and obstacles, has strengthened me, said Walt Disney. You may not realize it when it happens, but a kick in the teeth may be the best thing in the world for you. Disney knew something about going against the odds as an animator, a studio chief, and ultimately as a theme park developer. The setbacks Disney endured did not prevent him from continuing to pursue his dreams until he found fulfillment. Success, however, can only come if you continue to believe in yourself, manage adversity with grace, and continue forward with a stronger sense of purpose.